On February 26th, hundreds of activists gathered on Main Street and Hastings to march to the Athletes' Village. There they intended to build a tent city in protest of Vancouver's handling of the condo development. To it is just that I'm in the city and I'm responsible. Vancouver puts the people with more problems in one secluded area. We need housing now, not later. Very sad to see. Do you have a personal connection to this? I am from Mexico, actually. It's been described as a billion dollar blunder. While the city waits for developer Millennium to make good on its $732 million bill, most rooms remain empty. All in all, the community agreed this was a great idea. But over the years, these, these promises were scaled back to the point where we are today, where the affordable housing component is less than 10%, and it's nowhere near even full. For the last four years, I've been trying to find suitable housing, moving from one SRO to another. And, uh, I mean, I run into the same problems each place, and, I mean, it's been a struggle. The amount of times I've had to see a doctor or go to a hospital, the costs that have been involved with that just because of living conditions, uh, unsanitary, molds, uh, rodents, pests, you know, it's, that's not how people are, should be living, not in Vancouver. The protest was closely observed by police who escorted the activists to their intended destination. From beginning to end, Constable Christie could be seen documenting the actions of protesters. Why police felt the need to take footage of the events, he would not say. You guys want to wave to the camera and let them know that we're not afraid? Just get the size and demeanor of the crowd. No, not everybody likes being filmed, but you know what? Just, just as you're filming me in a public place, I have no expectation of rights in a public place. And it thus became something of a film-off as legal observers from the BC Civil Liberties Association were invited by organizers to bear witness to the we're events. We're here to observe the interactions of the security forces with the people that are here demonstrating to make sure that freedom of speech as well as other freedoms are respected. As protesters began setting up in the frigid weather, they were ever mindful of those watching them. The short-lived protest was an opportunity for at least one participant to find shelter during a time of uncertainty. Waiting to figure out when they were going to evict me, and they have, so here I am. <laughs> I think that the, the wages in this city, our minimum wage is way lower than every other province, and it's really hard to make ends meet. So, definitely need two jobs to live in this city. You must leave the premises immediately and remove your materials immediately. Faced with an uncooperative crowd of protesters, more forces were brought in to temper the crowd, which seemed intent on causing as much noise as they could. Leave immediately. We will remove you and your materials. If you want the park, let's hear it. If you want to stay right here, let's hear it. The group would be denied once again, and the 2011 10 city would collapse. That night, 11 of the protesters were arrested for breaking into an empty storefront at the Olympic Village.